The first thing you will need to do is remove the three screws from the front of the lens and then you just uh, slide the front ring off and uh, the same with the focus ring. Next thing you will do is uh, you put the lens cap on and remove the back cover and then you need to remove the four screws from the metal part of the lens mount. It might be a good idea to put the lens in manual focus mode and uh, focus to infinity so you don't damage the inner part of the lens anymore while we are working on it. The next thing you will need to do is with the screwdriver pop the metal lens mount off uh, the first time I did this, there was some glue between the lens mount and the lens, so I had to use some force. Inside the plastic ring that uh, sits in the middle of the lens mount, there is some clips, there's four clips, which you need to pop off with the screwdriver. Uh, these are sitting quite tight, so you may have to use some force to do this, but uh, be careful so you don't damage the clips. When all clips are loose, you just take your screwdriver and pop the plastic ring out of the lens mount. Now you will need to remove this screw and this screw, but not this screw. Now you can remove the metal lens mount ring. to do is uh, take off the autofocus switch to just slide it upwards and take it off. Be careful because there's a tiny switch uh, behind it which we don't want to damage. Uh, next thing you just slide this ring off. Now you will need to remove this little cable. Uh, you just take a little screwdriver or a toothpick and push on these small white plastic boxes. Uh, push them back about 2 mm and then you can just uh, separate the cable from the connector. Now you need to remove this screw. Be a bit careful because the metal part that is uh, between the screw and the lens might fall into the lens. This is however not a big problem because you can take that out later. Now you need to remove these three white plastic guides on the side of the lens. It might be a good idea to keep the screw and the guide together. When you have removed the guides, you can just slide the optical assembly out of the barrel. Be careful with the cable. It was glued on mine, so I had to take a screwdriver and bend it loose. And uh, after that I could uh, easily slide the optical assembly out of the barrel. Next I will just do a quick view of the um, autofocus motor. On my lens I think the motor is the problem, so I will probably have to order a new one. But uh, I will still continue to disassemble the lens to get you to the more common problem. 
Next you need to remove these two plastic guides. After removing the guides, just uh, slide this thing off. Next thing you will need to do is remove this little screw. Uh, the first time I did it, this screw was very very hard to remove, so I had to use a lot of force. This area is the most uh, common problem with the lens. Uh, it's been deformed and bent. You can see this uh, by um, placing this plastic ring on a level surface. Uh, it should be flat. You fix it by pressing uh, on it while it's lying on a flat surface with your hand and pressing it back in shape. Now we will reassemble the lens. Don't forget uh, this screw. The next thing you do is uh, to um, put the plastic ring back on the lens. Make sure you put it in uh, the right place. It should look like this. Now you reset the two um, plastic guides with the screws. When you're done, you should be able to rotate the ring. Now it's time to slide the optical assemble in the barrel again. You need to route the cable to the connector, which is a quite tricky part. You need to route it through there and uh, on the outside of the barrel and back to the connector. This is, as I said, uh, quite tricky, but I managed to do it by uh, get the cable up through the hole and then uh, press it uh, backwards to the outside with uh, the help of a screwdriver. Be sure to get the optical assemble all the way through the barrel. Now you just uh, take the cable and stick it uh, back into the connector and uh, press the little white plastic squares back with a screwdriver. Reset the three white plastic guides. The small plastic guides are different on each side, uh, you should be able to see where the screw head should be. Next thing to do is screw this little metal piece back. Be careful because uh, it can fall into the lens. Uh, mine did two times but I was able to get it out again without uh, disassembling the lens again. Now you will need to slide this plastic ring back in place. Just 
after you're done with that you need to reset the autofocus switch again be careful with the little switch behind it uh, with the lens facing with its front down and the autofocus switch in autofocus uh, the little switch behind it should be in the left position now you put uh, metal mount back on the lens Reset the two screws that holds the lens connector in place. Reset the plastic ring inside the metal mount. You need to push on the clips with the screwdriver to get this in place. Be careful so you don't break them. Then just uh, push the plastic ring down. It may not be 100% correct when you push it down so you can take your screwdriver and push it sideways to get it in place. Now reset the uh, four screws. Put the back cover back on and flip the lens. Take the lens cap off and slide the autofocus ring back on. Notice the track on the inside of the ring. Slide the front ring back on and uh, make sure the little plastic window line up with the focus indicator. Reset the three screws. This didn't unfortunately fix my lens. Um, my lens can uh, autofocus just fine from infinity to close, but uh, not from close to infinity. Uh, the manual focus functions just fine, but uh, I think something is wrong with the motor, so I need to order a new one. Uh, but uh, this fix is uh, for a lot of other autofocus problems with this lens. Uh, you can just uh, google and see in the descriptions for some links to other guides. Thank you!